don't mind me, I'm just crying on the inside. Peach boy! Don't ask why I have a peach. It smells like peach though. Let's go! The brothers! So cool! Hi everybody, we are watching the director's cut of Don Brothers, the final episode. Anyway, let's get into it. Keza, Henshin. So apparently there's only like a bits and bobs that are different in this, but I thought it'd be interesting to watch. The director cut starts the same place with Haruka's award ceremony. Congratulations. <laughs> Crying Sona Sonoza. I don't know if we'll actually see many differences, but Seems pretty similar. Da, 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 da. Oh, that logo is different. Uh, probably saying director's cut. Please translate if I'm wrong. Maybe that was an extra extra bit of talking from him. That's an extra bit. Longer conversation with Haruka. Zen. Oh, this is just reminding me of all the lovable moments we had with Don Brothers. Oh, I'm feeling kind of emotional. Already! <sighs> I didn't realize how much I missed them. Oh, stop. I wonder if he knew that he was going to lose his memories and he was excited for the manga so that would re spark some memories, maybe? Theory. I have to try and remember all the things that are different because obviously I haven't watched the episodes in so long. It is me! <laughs> it's so dramatic, I love it. <laughs> She's quite scary, isn't she? Ah, the CGI. <laughs> it's so... Oh, this is extra. That was an extra bit, wasn't it? Oh, extra bit. Ah, oh, Sarahara. Because it goes straight to here. Oh, so that we get to see the arrival of each of the conversations, I guess. That's kind of sweet. Oh. Why am I cr tearing up already? Stop it. Sarahara, you say some weird, some crazy stuff, but by the end of the show, you... Ah, you're all right by the end. <laughs> do you do anything different here? Other than just looking... Ah, extra bit with you as well. Okay. Because it just cuts from here, doesn't it? So he says something extra there. Interesting. I am sad how easily they were deleted, though. Will we see anything more about them? Also, I love the Noto, like the painted nails, the eye, uh, the eye contacts. Oh, back to this situation. Okay, this went pretty much normal, I think. Uh, this situation made me so angry when it happened. Like, he fought so hard for her. And here she is being like, oh, you're not gonna tell me about it. Like, you don't trust me with the truth. Get it over yourself, please. I think this is extra. I think that was extra bits there. Interesting. Oh, and Taro's starting to forget. Or have you forgotten? He has. He deserves so much better. He deserved better. It's so sad. Is the music here different? I think the music might be different. Oh. And there goes Don Murasame. Ooh, is this extra? This is extra, this is extra. And he's gone? Yes! Called it. Kijino. Oh. <laughs> Wait, is he teleporting? Is he teleporting between all the different points? Before he loses his memory? Because he disappeared from Supersa and then appeared for Kijino. Almost like they didn't see him appearing. Do you like the Don Brothers? Hi. Hi. It's my pride. Stop. <laughs> Kijino at this point, I think was very wholesome. I think he just wanted to love himself. He wanted to move on. And I thought that was best for him. I think he was the strongest in this moment, mentally, where he was just like, I can fight for myself, right? Uh oh, yeah. <laughs> I actually really liked Sonoshi. What's up with this? Stop. <laughs> Stop, please. Yeah, run. This is probably the first time they've been in a room together where Kijino and Superstar aren't fighting. And it's for Taro. Oh. Yeah, he's teleporting everywhere. I don't think he meant to go here. Ah, oh, he's teleporting. It's like final words kind of thing. Because he looks confused as heck as he teleported into there. Stop it with the music! Ah! It's time for him to sleep. <laughs> oh, I, I love this concept of the suit turning black and white. I love that concept. Oh! 
I think I might actually cry. Gosh. That looks so good, man. I want an onigiri now. The fact that he forgot his dad is so sad. Like, he put so much effort into looking after him. And he can't even do anything at the end. Like, maybe they all knew that this was going to happen eventually. Like, Master and his dad. He's not upset about it. He's remorseful. It, he's not angry. It's almost like he knew it was happening. This is extra. Yeah, this is extra! <gasps> He gets extra attack moments! <gasps> yes! We didn't see this last time! We didn't see him transform and try and protect himself! No wonder he was so weak by the time he got to the others. Oh, that's so exciting! <gasps> oh my god! <gasps> Don Murasame actually realized what he was doing and was struggling! <gasps> oh, stop! I needed to see that. Oh my god. Oh, it's right outside his work. That makes sense. I did not realize that. I think I was so upset about what was happening. I just went straight to what was happening in the scene. Oh. And there he goes. You didn't even try. That smile. What? Okay. Here's... Jiro, by the end of the show, was so freaking good. Why did they not tell him? It's infuriating. You could have easily just said, hey, dude, Taro is about to lose his memory and go. He could have easily done that. That poor man. I thought he had a really good character development and arc. Oh, this moment. I love how Taro has forgotten everyone here. It's not a good thing, but I love that Sonoi is here to help him. And it's just that build up. The amount of times they fought against Taro in this show. And now here they are, collected at, as a group, finally. Maybe that was his hero's duty. To gather them to be the heroes that they needed to be. This moment. Who are you? Oh, I can't. The Im I talked about this in my last video. The importance of Odin in this show. It became the most integral thing to, to their friendship, to their romance, whatever you want to call it. And he gets dragged away! This is his last moment with Taro, possibly. And he gets dragged away! Ah, I, I missed the fact that they were like, where's Taro? We're gonna get him next anyway. And that angers Sonoi, like, how? Ah! Oh. oh, he tells him to run! <laughs> the dragon fires have returned. Ah, oh, this is cool. Ani, <laughs> I didn't even realize she said that. <sighs> Kijino and Subasa are working together. Unspecific with the episode last time I talked about it, but they work together. And now Don Murasami is rejecting them. Ah, oh. he could see what was happening. He could see the pain he was uh, they were causing. And now he now they're fighting back. <sighs> yes. Master. I definitely think that the dad and master knew what was happening, but they didn't want it to happen. It's like, this is probably their last attempt. Ooh, that seems extra. <gasps> Come on, Haruka. That was an extra scene. Oh, the moon. Oh. <sighs> Don't mind me, I'm just crying on the inside. <sighs> so many good moments. And this final really just touches on the whole show for me. Like, it really and shows you g the great moments in all the shows and how they've all come together. Like, Kijuno and Supersa fighting together? That wouldn't have happened several episodes ago. <gasps> and then he returns. I have the peach! The peach boy has returned! Peach boy! Don't ask why I have a peach. It smells like peach, though. Matsurita! Let's go! Oh, this was so good! Also, the fact that it's not a thing that the Dob Brothers do, but the Noto do. They announce themselves at the beginning of the fight. That's a Noto thing, which is so funny. And at the end, they do it all together, probably so he could remember their names. Let's be honest. Oh, but it was so good seeing them all together. Like, it's such a Sentai specific to do it consistently through the whole show. Dob Brothers just didn't do that. Dob Brothers were so good at just, like, averting their expectation from what people were used to, the such common Sentai tropes. Come on, you got this. There it is! <sighs> oh, <yeah. laughs> 
Oh, it was so cool. The brothers! Ah, it's so cool. The special effects for like the fights were amazing, except for <laughs> Kitano and Super Saiyan. It's so funny. But look at this. The CGI is just so fantastic here. The the rainbow colors as he shoots through. Oh, it's just so cool. And the explosion. Bam. Oh, that was an extra effect coming out of there. <gasps> and then the white. I saw this. <laughs> the fact that he turns black and white at the end. So cool. But do we get anything else after this? Yes. Best relate. Well, I think Sonoy and Taro are the best relationship. But I'm so glad that these two finally got together. I was banking on it the whole time. This one I'm less invested in because I think Natsumi needed Kijuno to let him be happy on his own. Like he was such he was so obsessed. Most of the time he became a villain was because of her. Or, or because like she'd been hurt or she'd been kidnapped or something, which I get. But like <sighs> Sarahara doing his haiku. Haiku. Ah, oh, it's just so clever. And then back to the beginning of the episode where we have Haruka at the award ceremony for their manga. Perfect episode. And there's also like the director in the corner as well. Like, where is he? There he is, bugging through. I love this as well. Starting with the first episode or like one of the first episodes, she's here writing a manga, throwing her head back in frustration for different contexts. And then the doorbell goes, Auntie says, sorry, I can't make it. She goes to the door. And Domomoitaro is there in a new outfit for them to see each other. Ah, oh, the whole show is so clever with these kind of things. The details, oh. And the first thing she he says to her, looks like we've made a bond. Oh gosh. God, you guys must think like, why is Kez being so emotional? But like, this was the first show I've seen through Folly. And what a show to start, like, to come back to Toku with. And like, obviously with King Oja, I'm so much more invested now in King Oja because probably of this show, Don Brothers changed all your expectations of what a Sentai would give you. Changed the norms, it changed the tropes. And honestly, I think it did it really, really well. And especially just re-watching, but that being the director's cut, seeing all the extra details. I think it just proved that they cared for this show. Oh, I sound like I'm crying because it's just so emotional. It was good. I'm glad I rewatched that. People in the comments might say, why are you rewatching it? Why are you uh, re-reacting to it? But this is the director's cut, so it's very important to me. I wanted to see the details. I wanted to see the extra bits. Like, I think it was just extra bits here and there. So that if they'd added them in, like, I mean, I wouldn't complain. I can see why they didn't add those in. However, it does add like extra little bits of context, which I really enjoy. I think they should have had the tarot suit going from red to black and white in the show anyway. But overall, I think this director's cut was really enjoyable to watch hopefully you guys enjoyed this i'm gonna try and make more content that is me reacting to things so please let me know if you enjoyed this kind of video and hopefully i'll see you next time also there's a tokusatsu meet at mcm this year so if you're going to mcm comic con let me know in the comments down below and come to the meet come to the fan meet do it do it do it anyway here's a head shit math the net Bam.